All right, so I'll tell you the story about the Brussels sprouts caper. Okay. I'd been at school, this high school that I went away, a boarding type school, which I used to think was awful, but I've come to think that it was great. But there was a certain amount of elitism to it because we had to pay to go there and you stayed, you know, it was up in New Hampshire. And uh, so I got, I was been there only about four or five days and the captain of the football team was Dave Davis. It was this great, big, strong, God, he was big, 6'5", about 235, and he was just quiet and elegant. And I was kind of a loudmouth from Florida, talked too much like I do. And uh, so the headmaster of the school invited Dave to supper, which he'd been waiting for for four years to be invited for supper. But he said, bring Carter Lord along with you. <laughs> and he didn't even know me hardly. But what we didn't know was that my dad had known this guy, Mr. Saltonstall, Bill Saltonstall, had known him personally when they were going to school. So they were personal friends. But my old man didn't tell me this. I didn't know. I didn't know who Saltonstall was. I didn't know anything about anything about any of it up there. So Dave and I go over there in the evening after practice. And I've only been there a little bit, but Dave's already figured out I talk too damn much. So we're, so he's telling me, he says, I'm not sure why you're coming on this trip, but just keep your mouth shut and it'll be okay. So I said, I said, all right, I'll keep my mouth shut. And so we got there and Mr. Saltonstall threw his arm around me and said, Carter, God, what a, it's so great to meet you. I knew your dad well. Sit up here in front of the table with me. And Dave, you go on and sit down at the other end of the table with my wife and my daughters. <laughs> and so he starts slapping me on the back and we're laughing and talking up there. And so Dave's down there, cannot even believe it because Dave is like, well, you know, Dave, there is no one more strong, powerful, and, and just perfect and perfect posture and highly intelligent and, and, and kind. I mean, there's nothing, there's nobody greater than Dave Davis in this world. And he's down there with Mrs. Saltonstall and his daughters. And so she starts serving out the food and she brings out a bunch of Brussels sprouts. Well, I didn't know I, did, I like Brussels sprouts, but Dave hates Brussels sprouts, and I didn't know it. <laughs> so not only is he stuck down there at the other end of the table, but they put this big plate of Brussels sprouts in front of him, so he says, oh my God, Brussels sprouts, I hate them. But he says, I'll get this over with quick. I'll eat them all first and get it out of the way. <laughs> And meanwhile, he's looking up at me and he's jealous and me and Salty are having a great time laughing and everything. And Davis has known Salty for four years, never ever had hardly a conversation with him his whole time he was there. And like getting to talk to Mr. Saltonstall was like a big deal. Of course, I had, I knew nothing about it, no clue whatsoever. To me, it was nothing. No, it was nothing. He was just another guy. So what happens is he finishes his Brussels sprouts, right? Uh -huh. He gets through them. And so Mrs. Saltonstall says, Oh, oh I, see you, I see you love Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Have some more. And she served him up a whole nother. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. What a night, man. <laughs> I never heard any of this until about 40 years later, Dave finally told me this real story because I was laughing about about me and him going up and said, of all the people to get invited to, to go see Mr. Saltstall, me, the least, mo the least likely, the loudest, the most Southern, the most kind of crass and non-elegant, non non-elite. That was the opposite. <laughs> oh my God. That's why I sent him that picture of that Brussels sprout yesterday that we had for supper out here. Oh my God. Dave Davis, Bill Saltonstall, and the great Brussels sprouts caper, starring Dave Davis and Carter Lord. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what a story. <laughs>